What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codextual and today we're going to be talking about Windows caches and how to clear them. On a Windows PC, if you have a disk drive with a 100 gigs capacity and not all that space is available to you. In fact, uh, if you were able to take a peek behind the scenes, you'd be surprised how much space is actually taken up by random cache files. Uh, so what is cache? It's, a, it's not technical as it sounds in context of a computer, a cache is a non-permanent file or files that may be needed again in the future and therefore it's uh, kept away hidden until uh, that comes up uh, that time comes up um, again so cache files are important because that they boost your system performance but on the downside that they take a valuable space and uh, it could be a problem if you have an ssd with limited uh capacity on the good news is in most cases cache files can easily be erased to be cleared up space so now you have an idea of what a cache is. Um, before we get further into the video, if you guys want to do me one big favor is to hit the big red button that says subscribe, hit the post notifications. Every time that I do upload a video, you'll be notified. Um, I do live stream on other platforms such as Mixer. Um, so check the links down below if you ever want to ask any technical questions or come hang out. We do also have a Discord as well. Okay, so the first thing is it's going to be about the windows uh windows update and every time that you update windows it will store those files in towards our c drive and you're gonna go to where it says windows Ooh, got the hiccups right now and you're gonna scroll down where it says uh system distribution then downloads and right here is like any type of windows update that will be stored so if you if there's like a big windows update that comes through uh this is where it'll be stored and you can just go ahead and clear it right off from here so just go ahead and uh just delete that off so thankfully it's not all that big it was like less than a gig a little bit less than a gig um for your convenience, uh, keep Windows cache of all of the Windows update files, which can be come in handy when you need it to reapply an update. Uh, the annoying thing is that Windows updates can take a lot of space. So um, let's talk about the Windows 10 store um, a little bit. Uh, one of the biggest changes in the Windows uh, user experience was the introduction of the Windows store and Microsoft moved all of their software into apps. For many users, this move uh, was jarring uh, to say the least. Unfortunately, there's been uh, a lot of dislike about this, including fake apps in the Windows Store, which why many uh, have turned into these side uh, loading apps on the Windows instead. Um, as you might guess, Windows also caches downloads uh, maybe through the Windows Store. Not only that this cache takes up space, but it can take up problems when download uh, downloads are interrupted or in and properly stopped. If this happens, clearing the cache may solve any issues you have. And what we wanna do is how to clear off the Windows Store cache is you're gonna go ahead and hit uh, your Windows key and R at the same time. And what you're gonna do is type in WS reset. Oh, WS reset dot exe. And go ahead and hit enter and it will pop this up and whenever it's done, um, it'll just be cleared and you're just good to go. So we'll just move this down here. Um, your temp files cache, let's uh, talk about that. Windows has a system directory that is dedicated to holding temporary files. Temporary files are usually created um, by an intermediate uh, intermediary while other, oops, hope this is doing its thing. This is what it'll look like. So. That's basically it. Just go ahead and close that out. Um, where was it? Uh, intermediate data that only needs uh, needed by the program for a little while. Unfortunately, not all programs and processes are good about cleaning up after themselves, which means the system directory for temporary files end up being cluttered by a bunch of whole unnecessary junk. So if you were to um, go to the start menu and just type in disk, disk cleanup, and you click on your C drive. Uh, so let this go through. It's uh, 
usually safe to delete temporary files that you haven't been uh, used over a week. Thankfully, with the built-in tool that's provided right here, um, what we want to worry about is temporary files right here. And you can go ahead and click on that. Um, necessarily, you can just click on everything. Um, if you click on um, the recycling bin, it will empty that out and including your downloads if you have that enabled. So I don't want that enabled. Um, if you have updated from like a Windows 7 or Windows 8, you'll see like a windows.old um, in here and you can also clear that out. That's like your previously um, Windows version that you have upgraded from. So be on the lookout for that. Um, also, your thumbnail caches, uh, Windows has a setting that allows a thumbnail preview of files. For example, when enabled, an MP, uh, MP4 video will be shown with the frame from the video itself, while a PNG image will be the preview of what the image looks like. Thumbnails are great from a uh, usability standpoint, from where you do think those thumbnails come from. Uh, Windows has generated them on demand when you uh, use File to Explorer to browse folders every time you encounter a file for the first time. Windows has created the thumbnail for it. So, you know, this is where it lies. So just leave that check mark as well. And you can just go ahead and um, um, just hit OK. And it'll delete the files and let's just go ahead and delete that. And we'll let that go through. Um, system restore cache. A uh, system restore is one of the most useful features in Windows. Uh, it is easy to think that you'll never need it, but it's amazing how quickly people will flip flop on the stance when their system malfunction. When um, you never hope to use system restore, but when you need to, you hope it's there. I better start to be sorry. So um and even and even with all of the new troubleshooting options in Windows 10 system restore is still important so don't overlook it but what you could do is uh to bring that up is system protection system protection or system okay I did not want to pop up. Um, how do we get there? We're going to type in start, go to system. Something like that, right? Is it system configuration? We'll, we'll go to that real quick. I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. I think they moved it. Uh, let's go to settings. Then uh, system protection. Uh, create a restore point. Do, 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 do. Where is the delete settings? Because that's what we want. So it's going to be under the system. And we're going to go ahead and click on. Let's double click on this. configure exactly minimum oh there it is so right here is the delete which you can um if you want to disable system protection um if you want want to make sure that you don't want the um to start caching then just hit the delete and hit okay um so on the downside that is the system restore uses a lot of space seriously a lot of space my guys after all it is uh it has a cache uh, to the settings and the variables um, that are necessary for the system rest, uh, restoration rest or restore we're gonna go with restore because i can't english right now uh, you can free up this space by clearing saved restore points uh, you can also reduce the space um, allocate for system restore or disable for future altogether but be aware that allocating too little space may cause the system uh, restore to malfunction so it's uh this is where you decide of what you feel comfortable with but um if you don't care about our system restore whatsoever then just disable that uh let's go ahead and cancel out of that um two more things um web browser cache depending if you use um microsoft um 
Windows Edge or if you're using Google Chrome or Firefox, uh, whatever of the application that you're using, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, bring um, the, there you go, private browsing. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, if, if you don't know how to clear up your um, your cache, and if you're using Chrome, if you don't know how to clear that up, then just type in Chrome clear cache, and it'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. However, I'm just using Firefox here for an example, and um, what you want to do is if you're go if you're on Firefox, is go to the uh, options and you're gonna to go to privacy and security and this is where you can start clearing your data right here sites of cookies um, scroll down and you can clear off your history and so on and so forth um, and as you go through all that so let's go ahead and close out of that um, now I want to talk about DNS cache, which is going to be the last topic of the video. Uh, when you access a website, your computer is essentially registering uh, web data from another computer to on the internet. But how does your computer know to contact the specific computer? If you're using called the um, DNS domain name um, system or domain name, excuse me domain name server. Uh, the donut, the DNS is a network of computers that routes internet uh, traffic between them. Uh, think of it as a postal service. Mail gets moved from one center to another or multiple post offices in that case scenario uh, before they are finally arriving at the recipient. Except um, we're talking about the internet's data instead of mail. Um, whenever Windows learns a certain route um, from your computer, um, from uh, from your computer to like Facebook or to Google, it temporarily remembers that route and the DNS cache. However, when the DNS routes change, uh, your cache copy of the route becomes outdated and it can cause problems like not being able to load the website. So in order to clear that DNS cache, in order to gain access back towards that website, all you gotta do is just open up um, command prompt and usually I run as administrator. And uh, you, I don't think you need to run as administrator, but um, all you gotta do is type in IP config forward slash flush DNS. And that's it. All you gotta do is just, it will flush out the DNS and it'll be ready to take on new cache files and it will reroute, um, it'll create the, you know, the whole rerouting system. Uh, it will relearn how to get towards the new um, designated server facebook uh dot com or google dot com of how to get towards that um page faster so I uh, hope you have an understanding of how to clear it up and what caches can do. Um, it's just there to remember things and to speed up your performance, basically, to get towards um, a certain file or a certain server just faster. But if something's corrupt, now you know how to clear off your cache. Um, I hope that this video was very informative and helpful. If it was, again, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, um, so on and so forth. We're on Discord. I do a live stream. And, uh, yeah, any support is great support. And I'll see you guys the next video you all take care bye thank you for sticking around please feel free to watch my other videos don't forget to like share subscribe follow my social media if you're feeling generous check out my patreon or send in a donation of any amount with paypal it really helps out with post-production equipment food in my belly and also continue making free content for you guys links in the description y'all take care and thank you once again